Hey, everybody. Welcome Hello, everybody. back to Dustin and Michelle. It's Saturday night, right? Yeah, we are so excited that you're here. We got a fun show for you. Yeah, we hope you're going to walk away with something, some tips yeah. to make a few more bucks this summer. Yeah, one of the best ways to make, I mean, exceptional purchases when it comes to sourcing is hitting those garage sales, hitting those yard sales, and hitting those estate sales in the summer. And mm -hmm. not spring, summer, fall-ish, but yeah, mostly summer. Mm -hmm. But how do you find the places to go to get the best kind of, you know, garage sale stuff? I know. it's uh, It can be tough. You know, um, things have changed. Um, a lot, a lot yeah, right? Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> let, let's talk about the history of, of the arts. Yeah, first. yeah. We did some work because we love to get a little bit more than just you know whatever for you guys. But the history of how yard sales and garage sales started actually started in the 1800s in the shipyards. They would come in with tons and tons of inventory that no one would claim, and they would have these huge yard sales where people would come in and just buy what was, you know, abandoned, basically. Yeah. Um, and then it evolved from there to, right? Yeah, um, sort of like being a more of a community thing, like a church sale. Yes. Having some sort of uh, community event um, type of sale. Church sales. So it went mm -hmm. from there to church sales. And then in the 50s and 60s, it became kind of cool to go out and go garage sailing, right? And yard sailing. It was kind of chic. And by the 70s, my mom was dragging me around. <laughs> I'm giving up my age. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, you know, yeah. We're going to be giving away our age quite a few times here. I think, yeah, exactly. We're just to Google one. us. Whatever. <laughs> um. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, so things started um, in the 50s and the 60s as we sort of know them today. And... Um, but the things have changed, like on how you find these yard sales. Absolutely, yeah. Um, like before, um, okay, we're dating ourselves again. But do you remember a newspaper? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> a newspaper. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. And how fun was that? It was know? so fun because you'd even get coupons on like Wednesday or Thursday, so yeah. you knew which supermarket to go to to get the best deals. Oh my gosh, we would like. Just mm -hmm. jump out of the bushes at the mailman. Yeah, right. And yeah. grab that Sunday paper with all the ads in it and tear it apart and figure yeah. out where we're going to go and yeah, go circle everything. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and especially uh, the classified ads is where you went to go and find whatever you were looking for. And, you know, if it wasn't in your local paper, you probably weren't finding it. No. So it's well, just so crazy how things have changed. It's and, so crazy now, awesome. right? It's yeah. so, we have so many more opportunities to get the kinds of deals that, you know, we need for our businesses. Absolutely. So let's jump into it. Um, yeah. And then, um, so, you know, and then after the newspaper, of course, it sort of evolved, you know, we got online. And all of a sudden, Craigslist pops up. And I think that uh, for that, for the, like the longest time, was probably, you know, oh, it was the like place. the thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Craigslist, that, Craigslist yeah. yeah. That started in 1995. And so that's almost been around for like 30 years. Wow. OMG. Yeah. It's dating ourselves again. But anyway, we're moving on to uh, <laughs> Facebook, which, uh, which uh, was founded in. 2004. Okay. So that's almost 20 years now. Okay, so that's, that's pretty better. cool. Yeah, I do remember <laughs> signing up for Facebook. I do. I do too. I yeah. do too. And I <laughs> I think that kind of the Facebook marketplace sort of came out as not like competition with Craigslist, but sort of because that model was working really well for them. So I think they kind of decided to jump on board. Yeah, just, you know, evolving with the times mm -hmm. online. Um, I I love Facebook Marketplace. Me too. And we're going to talk about the differences between uh, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist in a little bit mm. um, because it's uh, probably, Significant. probably yeah, our favorites. Yeah. Um, and then after, you know, Facebook and Craigslist started evolving, it, you know, everything is like an app now. There's an app for everything. You know, every yeah. day there's new apps and there's no exception as uh, in apps for finding yard sales. I know apps to find a yard sale. I mean, it was like if your muffler didn't fall off before you made it to the garage sale in the seventies, <laughs> that was like great. And it was like word of mouth, like, Oh, so-and-so, you know, yeah. Bob Smith, Emma Smith, having one down the road. I mean, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, yeah. That's wow. or, or just following signs of course is always good. You yeah. Know, I guess, good I guess we can't things. figure, uh, forget that, <laughs> I guess. All right. Back to the computers. <laughs> 
So all that fun stuff. Uh, we got these new apps and stuff and new websites now that we can find these yard sales. Um, so it, it's, it's good to use those uh, tools. Honestly. I know. I need to learn them and not be, you know, sourpuss about it. Um, okay. Well, there's a few really easy ones for you. Um, so so <laughs> yeah. check this out, really. I mean, no. yeah, honestly. For real. No, for real. We went over this this morning. We had coffee and talked. Right? <laughs> right. We had coffee talk. Coffee talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Getting a little bit clumped. You're right. trying. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Um, now we've got uh, yard sales, apps, and websites. Now, this one right here, uh, number six, we're just going to throw that in as a bonus because it's fairly brand new and it's for iPhone only. Mm -hmm. So, if you have the iPhone, check this one out. It actually it looks pretty cool. The Garage Sale Center. Yeah. Um, it had just a really good looking interface like most of the other apps. Um, it had a lot of downloads, right? It's, uh, I couldn't tell that uh, the downloads, but it did have uh, quite a few reviews on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Apple Store didn't um, give us that information. But um, these next ones coming up are going to also, here we'll do the next one, um, tell you how many users have actually downloaded this um, according to Google Play. Now, GarageSailor.com is okay. um, an app that I've used, and um, it looks like they have uh, have over 100,000 users, actually. So that means, hey, I mean, 100,000 people are using that. There's that much more of a chance that you're going to find that. I never website. even thought about thinking of it that way. Okay, that's cool. That's oh, cool. Oh, yeah, looking at uh, how many people are using it or have well, done yeah, it. And... Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I always get the big one, the big apps, like the ones everybody else has, so... Oh. These are smaller, smaller, newer apps. It's becoming so fashionable to thrift and source, and it's just everything's popping up everywhere. It's changing constantly. It, yeah, it is really something. Um, okay, We're, so a good time to be um, already in this business, I would say. In uh, <laughs> like already, but about we're already in in front of all of that just by having some of these um, pieces of information at our fingertips. Right. Right. Yep. And so. Like you're saying, these are some of the smaller apps that people use. Uh, I think GarageSailor.com is getting bigger. But even bigger here, we see that 500,000 users are using EstateSales.net. Now, um, I don't use this one a lot. I did check it out, though. Um, it's mostly, it looks like it's mostly estate sales and, like, liquidation warehouses. It looks like we're sort of posting in there, too. So it might be a good place to, you know, find some different places to source, even. Um, liquidation, like big pallets? Um, maybe centers like that. There's a, a place that I've been in Minnesota where they might open some of those pallets and put them in bins. Cool. And also sell pallets. So it, cool. Yeah, it could be a place to find something like that as well. Awesome. Yeah, and that is estatesales.net. Uh, again, with half a million users already. So um, that's a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And next on the list, we've got number three which is our the, favorite one today. <laughs> it is. It is. It is our favorite one. The yard sale treasure map. There's over a million users using this one. Yeah. And I think you can see why once you open it up, uh, this is the one that I recommend. I think it pulls from garage It pulls um, from um, other sites as well. So this one is going to um, help you find like uh, all over the map. Right. It's, yeah. it, it has a full, it, yeah, that's where we found the the, the we place. Saw. Yeah, really? we went to uh, we did some really good sourcing yesterday, and yeah. we'll have a YouTube video coming up on that. Uh, cut it off the GoPro. So it was Whoa. so awesome! It was so awesome, you guys, and we found it on um, what is it on this app treasure, right here? The yard sale treasure map. Treasure app. map, what a cute name too. Yeah, total. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We had a good day today. Yeah, it was so awesome. Yeah. And um, with this app here. The yard sale treasure map app it's just like uh these other two right here as far as like the interface goes but on this one here you can color code the yard sales say you say you see some that are clothing only you can color code those all blue you can color code um uh, electronics or sporting goods uh something type yard sale like guys yard sales you can color code those uh, red or something that's nice yeah and also you can do like a map planner. So say you favorite some of these yard sales that you're seeing, um, you can put it into the route optimizer and it will like say, go here first, second and third, if you want to make a round trip um, and end back home. Something That's like cool. That. Yeah. yeah. So really... that would save that. Now that 
alone saves saves so much time. Right. Oh my god. I, I mean, yes. It's and, ridiculous. Yep. And all of these are hooked into Google Maps. So if you're familiar with Google Maps, you probably use that every time you um, do a GPS. Um, these are all linked with that. So you're probably familiar with the GPS that will pop up once you say, hey, navigate to this sale. Um, so Yard Sale Treasure Map app, my favorite. Absolutely love it. I recommend that one. We're not sponsored or anything. Is, just... No. Um, now, question for you. Is this appropriate for um, uh, iPhones and for Android? Yes, good question. Very good question. <laughs> um, all of these so far, I have um, seen that they can be for Android or Apple, except for the top one. And the, the number six is for iPhone only right now. Okay. So all these are for Apple or Android. Perfect. Yeah. So now we'll go to our number two, which all of you know mm -hmm. is Craigslist. Um, Five million plus users. Um, now that may not be, and that's just the app. Okay, so that's just the uh, Craigslist app. Five million users on the app. There's probably a hell of a lot more users than that just using it and the website. So that is probably one of the best ones to post on. Now, I also read that many of these um, apps right here also pull off of Craigslist. So they're ah. going to, um, yeah. So Yard Sale Treasure Map app takes from Craigslist. Uh, GrouseSailor.com will pull from Craigslist. Ah. Okay, okay. So your best, um, your best thing, especially if you're having yard sales, to post on Craigslist your yard sale because all of these different yeah. apps are going to um, advertise for you. That's um, just awesome. By, yeah, just by posting on Craigslist. So um, Craigslist, number one. Uh, well, number two on our list here, I, I would think, and you know, it's probably right up there with our number one, which is Facebook and Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Um, in the United States alone, 240 million Facebook accounts, uh, accounts are around. It's crazy. So, um, not everybody's, you know, has stuff on marketplace, but yeah. you know, um, we couldn't even begin to start naming all the different, um, rummage sales and garage sale sites and all those, um, great pages that you could become a part of mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yes. Um, and there are there's there are sites where you can get free things there's stuff where you can donate stuff in your to, to your neighbors <laughs> it's just it gets really fun and really interesting and um sometimes a lot of times a really great place to source a lot of people source on facebook marketplace oh absolutely uh, i have yep have you oh yeah absolutely Oh. Just like Craigslist or Facebook, you know, you sit there and <clears throat> you have certain categories of stuff that maybe you're looking for that you think other people won't on a marketplace. Um, like I, I would, I would scan for blank media all the time, um, blank cassettes, um, things like that. Uh, media storage, like Napa Valley wooden crates. You know, a lot of people don't know about those, and if you do, um, Facebook and Craigslist is a really good place to score like a whole lot of them sometimes. You know, for next to nothing. That's cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. See, I was always nervous about Facebook Marketplace and um, Craigslist because of having to meet up with somebody, okay. you know, and um, so that's something that always made me really nervous. Not, I mean, now that you're here, I mm -hmm. feel more comfortable because I'm not by myself, um, but it's scary. And even I think uh, for me, I'm, I'm just keeping it real mm -hmm. for me. And I thought to myself, oh, well, even if we met at like the Walgreens, they can still take the number of your your license plate number. Mm -hmm. sure. Like they can they can get find you. Like there's there's no doubt they can if they want to. I know that sounds terrible, but it's a girl thing, you know. I no, I, I completely understand that. Um, oh my goodness, I, it's I, like I'm, walking I'm like, in the yes. woods at night alone. I would yeah. never. <laughs> yeah, it's like let me take care of these Craigslist and Facebook, you know, deals. Yeah, and, he's know, teaching just... me the packing and the, the the shipping methods, and yeah, and he's and helping. the Facebook stuff. <laughs> oh my, you know, whatever we're, we're helping each other, but. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but no, I, I completely uh, agree with your um, concern there. To be be very cautious uh -huh. about when you're meeting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, with with you know, like they recommend to, of course, uh, meet in a public place. But even you're mentioning, you know, that you know, hey, things can still go wrong too. So, yeah, um, something like a Walgreens is nice, or a grocery store, because usually they have cameras on the outside of the store. Mm -hmm. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind too. Yeah. Like, anyway. Yeah. No, you can even meet at the police station. 
be like, hey, meet me at the police station. I don't, you know, this is this is how I do Craigslist. I'm sorry. But on, on Facebook Marketplace, though, baby, you can you can see their profile, right? You can yeah. kind of like if they're like, mm -hmm. you know, some kind of, you know, I don't know, weirdo <laughs> nut person. I don't know. Like you could you might be able to get that vibe if you checked out the Facebook page. Right. And that's yeah. uh, one of the differences that we wanted to talk about. Between, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. That's perfect. That's a perfect segue. <laughs> okay. into that because that's that's what we need to uh, what we're going to talk about. One of the differences. Yeah. So yeah. good one. Yeah. Because um, Craigslist, it's a very simple site. It's always been simple. You know, it's like Windows 95 style still, you know, no, no flair, no nothing. It's just like Google, you know, just a blank quick site. And um, so you, you really don't know who you're talking to. And the only way you're really communicating through Craigslist is by email. Mm. Um, but, you know, when you're on Facebook, you know, uh, you're looking perhaps at you, you can go and look at their profile and see, OK, this is a real person. They, they post here and there. They say happy birthday to their friend. And, right. they, and they've had this account for 12 years. You know, this is a real person. At least, you know, at least you can tell that when you're yeah. on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, um, definitely. Which would maybe help, you know, um, others feel a little bit safer. Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, that's for sure. For, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, um, there's just the, the little differences there. You know, be really careful when you're using Facebook and uh, Craigslist, especially to buy stuff um, for, you know, finding yard sales and, uh, and stuff like that. It's, it's great. Uh, number one and number two, when I had my yard sale up, um, uh, well, oh, okay, I, I should say uh, when I am um, using Facebook and I'm using Craigslist for the same listing, I get so many more hits on Facebook. Really? Uh, yeah, I barely get anything on Craigslist and like ding, 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 ding on, on Facebook sometimes. Really? So, yeah, um, that's why I put Facebook number one. I, I really think that's sort of taking over my best friend is um is in california and she deals more with furniture and larger pieces than art and she sells all the time on facebook marketplace just for mm -hmm. that same reason she can go and kind of see like if it's a creeper <laughs> okay yeah and if it's not a creeper there you go there's a, a better chance of Thumbs up. not being creeped okay yeah right. exactly. <laughs> being creeped over <laughs> <laughs> that's even a thing <laughs> it's a thing now i guess but. yeah we made, we made it a thing <laughs> yeah i guess so so yeah so i think that these five different um you know examples of places to go to become a better yard sailor more efficient um uh would you say more frugal and just efficient meaning in time it saves time Right. Yeah. You can go and uh, plan out your entire morning. You know, you got all those yard sales just in and a, link in a nice it all up on yeah. a map. Oh yes. my gosh. Where's my, where's my coffee and my <laughs> right? donut? Yeah. Let's go. So yard sale treasure map app. Remember the number three one here is the one you can do that with. Yeah. Um, and also here, um, guys, we got just a few websites that you can go to. Not only apps, but um, just straight up websites. Yeah. Like yardsales.com. Yep and yardsales.net yep those are two of them um also garage sale finder.com there's yard sale search.com uh just there, yeah do a search <laughs> do a search and you'll you'll find some more sites but these are ones that um i've actually uh used to post my own garage sale on, on the last one i had this summer not too long ago actually um must have been like a month ago honestly yeah it was like it, a month ago it's been like <laughs> the, like moving here halfway across the country it's been such a whirlwind whirlwind <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's saturday night tomorrow's sunday yay it we're is. just it's been like three weeks since we've been living together it's been so nice but we've been so busy i know it's uh yeah it's it's been like non-stop <laughs> you know just trying to find time to like go for a walk or something you know and and, and, and enjoy yeah. it Enjoy and it. keep this going for you guys and, and us too, right? Oh my gosh, I cannot, we cannot wait for, first of all, thank you for spending time with us on Saturday night. Thank you for joining us here on Dustin and Michelle. Um, we just shared, yeah, on five or so, plus bonus is six bonus maybe, um, of ways to find awesome spots to go yard selling and garage selling and estate selling. So um go check that out but if you like the kind of content please like and subscribe 
Yeah, guys, we <laughs> really appreciate you coming by. We Thank do. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, we're going to come up with some more um, good things to talk about next yeah. week. Yeah. And the, oh my gosh, what we did this weekend. Dawson's going to be editing it and it is so fun. Yeah. We had a really good time yesterday um, going to a big old barn sale. That's all I'll say. Oh my gosh. So. I'm still itchy from <laughs> the mold. <laughs> Oh, it's That's a good some, one, though. Some fun digging for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Thank you.